Hey guys, it's um VGEX Ninja from the VGE team, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a game on stencil. And uh, <coughs> yeah, this is uh my second one because you guys don't like my music, obviously. So I'm making a voice tutorial. So yeah, you gotta internet your internet browser and type in www.stencil.com and hit enter. And um, when it loads up you should join and if you, you have to register and if you don't register then you can't use stencil forge which will need that for the tutorial so you should definitely make a thing um you should definitely make an account and you should also download it right now so if you're downloading or making an account right now just pause this video all right so now exit it out and go to stencil works and uh yeah <coughs> So we just wait for that to load. Like my background, it's awesome. Alright. Yeah, well, I found it on the internet. I was just looking up Nanny Cat and I found that. Alright, so now it's up. And I have all my games here. And, um. Yeah, you come with more, but because you probably. Oh, yeah, it's another thing you should update when you get it you should update but for now uh... i'm gonna open up a dark and light 2 and you should open up a new game and name it whatever you want and uh... yeah so opening opening and yeah we have it so this is my game see all my levels yeah, and I have actors, backgrounds, fonts, scenes, and that sidebar. We're going to need that sidebar. So, yeah, these are all my levels. Um, I had made them all. And so, yeah, we should click on create a new scene and name it whatever you want. And I'll name it level just for this tutorial. And you can make it a vertical gradient so, a vertical, a vertical gradient, so it'll <laughs> look cool. But you can, whatever, it doesn't matter. So now we are the level, and um, you see it's only the uh, background. So yeah, um, now we're gonna open up Stencil Forge, and once we open up Stencil Forge, we'll see there's all these resources here. Well, this is just so we can get a bunch of stuff. Like it's just our, you know, it whatever we want. So, um, yeah, we can get people that, we can get stuff that people put on. So, we're gonna go to tile sets, and we're going to go to planes, and hit download. And I already have it, so I don't have to download, but you guys should download. Alright, so, we're gonna go back to level, and we have all our, and we have planes. And right now, you can just make a tile set. You can just, ma no, make, not make a tile set. Make a whatever make something yes no <laughs> make a level and then once you're done with that yeah <laughs> whatever so yeah we're making a level and it's not really that hard if you just click it will come down so pause it right now if you want to make a level um yeah Alright, so, <coughs> yeah, now we have a level. And that's just about it for the level. We can, um, open up, whatever. Yeah, we gotta make the gravity 85 down, just so it's real gravity for your character. And yeah, don't do horizontal, because you'll go flying off the screen like there's wind or something. Alright, so go, uh, yeah, we don't need to do that right now. Let's go to Game Center and Actors and go down and hit. Oh, yeah. And go down and hit Create a New Actor. Alright, now you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Guy for this tutorial. Alright, so now we have our Guy. 
and all right so hit create a frame external and it should open up it's called pencil <laughs> p-e-n-c-y-l that should pop up and uh, for this tutorial I'm just gonna make it a square you know because squares are easy to make and this is just a little tutorial so all right so yeah just do that you can go more into but I suggest you just make a square all right so click exit and hit save so now you have your guy whatever you're supposed to be now go to uh, collision let's go to collision and you can just exit you can just hit delete and hit add a box and hit OK because it will format to whatever your guy looks like so um, yeah right now we're gonna go to physics and just make sure it's on normal no make sure he cannot rotate and make sure he can be affected by gravity alright so once you're done with that go back to behaviors and click your and you should click your choose a be oh no we can't yet because we don't have any behaviors so go to stencil for wait oh yeah no uh yeah go to stencil forge and type in platformer movement that's what it's called i'll go to resource packs yeah resource packs first oh you can just hit all and just platform movement right there I forgot sorry <laughs> I hit download. I already have it, so I'm good. Alright, so you should get. Oh no, no. I should re download it for you guys. Alright, I'm gonna download it. Alright, downloading. Yeah, downloading does take a while, so you can pause it when you're downloading. Alright, so now it's downloaded. And, um, yeah, we have all our stuff here. And we should go to our guy and hit attach, uh, attach behavior or whatever. And we don't need animation manager because we don't really need it. Alright, so go to following, hit choose. And just make sure to do the animations right there. And then add a behavior. And go to jumping and hit choose and just I use up for my key that I use so jump is X by the way if if you see the key that's yeah, jump that's X so if you choose that it's X alright so I got that add another behavior and this time we need on on ground wait are, oh never mind slow down and uh, right key and left key and you can customize those later if you really want to. And then we are going to choose on ground. Make sure we can jump. And what else? Um, walking. And right key and left key. I right, and do the animations. Yeah, behaviors are annoying. They're the most annoying part of making a game for me. Alright, so we got that. <coughs> oh, sorry. Alright, um... Oh, we need more behaviors, don't we? So we go to Stencil Forge and search up Die in Pit and hit Enter. In Logic. Do it in Logic. And hit Die in Pit and Enter. And make sure to do the featured one because it is the most reliable one. And then after that, you can download it. Alright, so once it's downloaded, <coughs> go back to your level and choose a behavior. Go to your guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Your guy. Hit Add a behavior. And go to Die in Pit. Or whatever it's called for you. Alright, and make it 0.5. I just use 0.5 regularly. This makes it so that if he falls off the screen, he'll the screen will reset itself. So, like, say there's a pit, like, I don't know, say your dude, like, falls into the depths of an ocean or something and dies. Alright, so now we're 
gonna do camera follow player. Uh, no. Always simulate, sorry. <laughs> and be sure to do the featured one and download it. And once that's downloaded, go back to your guy and always simulate and choose. And be sure to check that checkbox. And add another behavior. And go to camera follow player in Stencil Forge. And yeah, do the one that's featured. And download it. Like all the other ones. <laughs> Alright, you got your guy, and add a behavior, and camera follow player, and yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's it for our guy, I'm pretty sure, so yeah, now we have that, and so we're at our level, and so, now you go down to actors and guy, and we can place them down, I mess up right here, because I didn't save the guy first, so what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna wanna go to your guy, and exit out and hit X on your guy and hit save so once you save that you can try to make your level I mean you can test scene and it should load like this preparing doop -a -doo, doop -a -doo, doop yeah it takes a while the first time you do it but then after that it is really easy to do it pretty fast. Yeah, so what we did is, with those all behaviors, we just, behaviors are sort of like abilities for the person. You can make your own behaviors, um, if you really want me to make another video on customizing, uh, manually customizing your character and behaviors then go ahead and like and comment and I will make a video with that so now we have our flash player, oh, I messed up so yeah I gotta save my guy and I saved him we go to test scene preparing game so this is why you like to, you have to, you know remember everything if you've ever played my dark and light game then you might dark and light 2 game you might be able to uh see some of the characters on the right side of the screen in the actors tab all right so we got our game loading and yeah see my guy i'm moving with the left and right keys and i can jump up and he's jumping and yeah it's pretty cool yeah so if you followed all my directions this is what you made and you can make your level bigger, you can modify your guy, just, you know, always remember what to do. So yeah, I, that's it for making a game, and you can exit out right now and like and comment. And right now we're going to go to go see how to make, I mean, um, my website. Oh, oh, hold on. Don't exit out now. Uh, yeah. So we gotta go to background music and download and what this does and then go to level and then choose behavior to attach to the scene and then do anything that you have and that will make it so that you have background music on your game and it's pretty cool. And you can go to Sense of Forge and get sounds there if you want. But I'm not gonna go into that in this tutorial. So yeah, that's basically it for making a game. And you can save, but I'm not going to save because I don't really need that. So yeah, now we're going to go to InsideTheBoxGames.Webs.Com And see, here's my sweet logo that I made. And uh, yeah, this is my website that we're going to. Just open up your internet browser. And make sure to type in www inside the games inside the box games dot webs dot com and uh oh huh, I didn't my my thing isn't loading. Hold on. Yeah, so I got to load and type in www dot inside the box games dot webs dot com and it's gonna be able to uh 
can be able to see my website. Yeah, so here's my website. My chat box. 1,032 hits. Um, my description. My ads that I make money off of. Click by click. Um, and sign in or register. And yeah, this is my... That's my um, username. So if you see me... That's that, yeah. If you see that, that's me. So um, stencil and uh, yeah, this is my game, Dark and Light Two, and I'm gonna be here. Um, this is the demo. This is the beta version. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing through the first like two levels. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, um, sorry for the choppiness of it. And yeah, that's it. Alright guys, um, that's just about it, so, I'll see you later, and this has been the VG, this has been VGEX Ninja, showing you how to make a game. Alright guys, see you later.